Hi friends, welcome back to Better Creating. If you are new here, I'm Simon, and this channel is all about simplifying creative life with videos on productivity, intentional living, and well, using Notion to organize your life. Here are five categories of tips and tricks to speed up your workflow in Notion. Can you hear that? Pepper is really wanting some attention. <laughs> If you don't know by now, Notion is an amazing all-in-one workspace uh, that you can use to, well, organize your whole life. I use it to plan my week, set goals, track habits, develop major projects, write content, gather knowledge, run a YouTube channel, keep a journal, write essays, look after my money, take notes, run meetings, chase leads, collect recipes, and do sit-ups. Okay, all of those, but not the sit-ups. I can't do sit-ups in Notion. But in this video, we'll cover shortcuts, reminders, templating, great ways to speed up, simplify, and streamline your Notion workflow. Alliteration, nice. Time-saving shortcuts. Okay, shortcut keys are a brilliant way to reduce the number of actions and clicks it takes to get things done in Notion. Here are some of my favorites that you might not know about. Use Command or Control P depending on the system you use, for a search of your whole workspace. This is an absolute game changer when it comes to navigating to specific pages. Use open brackets, close brackets to quickly create a checkbox if you need a fast list. This is really good. If you want to make notes on your writing in Notion, try using the excellent Command Shift M function to add a comment directly to something that you're working on. It's a great way to track changes, just like you would do in Word, um, but it also doesn't appear in the body. It's there as a highlighted comment. Pretty cool. Now, I use dividers quite a lot in my workspace and in my writing, and I've been doing forward slash divider to add one, but actually you can just go dash, 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 three dashes really quickly, triple hit, and it'll put a divider in for you. You can use Command Shift L to toggle quickly between dark and light mode, depending on the look that you want to use or the time of day. That's a good one if you enjoy jumping between them. And why not go even further with this speedy, quick capture approach? Um, you can now even type notion.new into a browser and go straight to a new page in that browser on Notion if you're logged into your account. When it comes to shortcuts though, there's one you really need to fully embrace if you don't know it already, and that is the power of the forward slash. In general, taking some time to explore forward slash functions does a lot, like a lot. Make sure to think beyond the basic list that appears there of like new page or uh, toggle or whatever. You could do forward slash color gray to um, shade a title. That's pretty cool, I discovered that one. You know, forward slash color anything. Forward slash H3 does a small heading or title. You can even try forward slash turn in and that will change the block that you're on depending on what you select into anything you want. Just try hitting that forward slash, typing up in what you want to happen and see what comes up. Tip and trick number two is using template buttons to save time on recurring or regular activities. This is a great function to really simplify your workflow. Type forward slash template and add a button that duplicates whatever blocks you put into it with one click. It's a great way for generating regular to-do lists or something like a weekly habit tracker. So to do this, you just build whatever you want on a page, create a button next to it, click configure on the template button block, and then drop the elements that you've made into this block, however many you want, and save it. I use it to create regular recurring tasks that can, then can be generated each week. If you make, for example, uh, the pages that you want to duplicate in a database, they will retain all the programming and information that was in that database when you move them out of it and place them into the block. So for example, if you're planning regular scheduled activities, tasks, do it in a database, place them onto a page and into the template button, and then each time you generate them, when you put them back into the database, they will carry all of that programming. Uh, I use it as well for regular uh, expenses or income items in my financial tracker. So it just means that each month you can generate them all, drop them all in, and you don't have to do all that extra work. That is a way of automating your life, which is a brilliant key to staying productive and stress-free. Notion tip number three. Set personal reminders anywhere in your Notion workspace. I discovered this the other week and I love it for things that you wanna come back to in your workspace. You simply type at remind anywhere, set the time and date, and that reminder will send you right back to that place depending on how you configure your Notion reminders on your phone or your computer. So if you're in the middle of writing, you need to leave it, you wanna remind yourself to come back and finish it, it will literally navigate you back to that point. That 
is a great time saving device. Now, before we move on to a few more time saving notion tips, I want to suggest something to try out to you. It's a new immersive Notion course that can help you go a little bit further with all this stuff. It's called Notion A to Z or A to Z. It's created by the excellent William Nutt, a friend of mine at Notion VIP. It looks like a great new way to learn Notion and prepare for the expanding assortment of certifications that are becoming available using Notion. You can hit my link in the description below for a great early bird discount to the course and give it a try. Number four is using synced blocks to quickly navigate your system. Synced blocks mean that whatever you put in them and wherever you duplicate them and sync them, they stay the same. Now that means that they're incredibly useful for creating essentially global navigation menus. Now to do this, all you need to do is type out a menu. I use emojis that link to the page icons to organize my the workspace as I look at it. Highlight each one click on the link button and turn them into a link to the specific page you want them to link to. It could be a piece of text if you want. Then take all of that content, put it into a synced forward slash synced block block. Nice. Go across to the right and click uh, copy and be able to duplicate it. And then anywhere you paste it, that block will be synced. So it means that you could put it on all of your key pages in your system, but also put them into template blocks such as say journal entries or uh, new project um, scripting templates that you might have, whatever it is. And then every time you generate that page, you will always have a navigation to get straight back to wherever you need to get to. A great way to speed up um, and reduce the number of clicks uh, between actions. Number five is use the web clipper to quickly import references and content into your Notion workspace. I love the Notion web clipper in Chrome. I use it to add new references to my bibliography of inspiration or like a bank of knowledge. Um, I just install the web clipper, as you can do, like this. Then when you click on it, it will offer to add the pages content that you're on to any database or page in Notion. I simply select knowledge and when it's added, I see all of that content in my knowledge database to read and reference later on. It means that it basically populates that page in Notion with the the contents of the web page. So video links will appear in it, text, so on and so forth. So it's a fast way to get all of that into your system and then use something like sync blocks or backlinks to copy that and use it to reference into your own work and feed it into what you're doing. Make sure to check out my Notion templates via the links below. There are loads more tips, tricks and tutorials on improving your Notion game on this channel, as well as more content from me on intentional living and creative productivity. It would be amazing if you left some comments. It would be awesome if you subscribed if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video.